Having Olama on your PC is nice, but wouldn't it be nicer if you could use it on the go or share Olama with your friends? I found a way to publish local LLMs and web applications on the internet using Cloudflare tunnels. To make your life a little bit easier, I have created a little project called Llama Tunnel. In the end, you use Docker and Docker Compose on your local system. And in Docker, there will be a service based on Cloudflare D, which creates the tunnel to the Cloudflare Gateway service. You have a gateway system based on Caddy, which is a reverse proxy, and this protects the apps and Olama on your system. For example, Olama doesn't have an API key. We will add this API key feature on the gateway. In addition, then um, we use OpenWebUI, which is running in Docker and yeah, expose it as well on the internet. The devices on the internet can then connect to Olama directly using an OpenAI key or use the apps. Okay, let's get started. To install everything, you need some prerequisites. At first, you need Docker Desktop, then you need Olama. It should be installed on your local machine and running on local host. Then you need a Cloudflare account and a domain name, which is managed with Cloudflare DNS. Cloudflare D should be installed on your machine, and then you need Python and Git. At first, install Copia. You can do this with these commands. I have done it already, so I can continue with the next step. Next, you create a Cloudflare API token. You can do this on the Cloudflare dashboard and go to My Profile and then API Tokens. And here you can hit Create Token and Edit DNS Zone and you basically just need to enter the zone name. And in my case, I want to publish it on media.dev. And when you are done, hit continue to summary and create token. And here you are, this is your API token. So next, let's see what we need to do. We need to log in with Cloudflare. I think I've already logged in, but check it again. Yes, I'm logged in and then I can create a folder for my Docker stack. Often it is a good practice to keep all the Docker stacks on a machine in a folder called Docker stacks or some, something else, but in, in one common folder. And I want to create a Docker stack for Llama Tunnel, so that's why I called it Llama Tunnel. So let's change into the Docker stacks directory and create a Llama Tunnel folder. And then change into this folder. And then what's next? I think. Yeah, I need to create the tunnel and the routes. And the tunnel will be created for the tunnel name. In my case, you can call it anyway, but I, I also just call it Llama Tunnel. And the domain name is used in the routes. So you can see that we have a subdomain and a domain name, and this should be routed to our tunnel. And this is all done in one single command, but we need to edit the domain name to change it to media.dev in my example. Cloud Flare Tunnel Create Credentials File. And this is important because when you create a tunnel, and I need to use Cloudflare D, of course then you can ask it to create the credentials file. And you use the credentials file later on to log on to the tunnel and to create the tunnel from within Docker. So that's why we need to store it here. Okay, I forgot to create the folders. At first, I need to create a data folder. So data and Cloudflare D. Okay, and then I can create the tunnel. I 
again with the credentials file. I want to store it in data and cloud D and credentials.json. And I think that's already it. Oh no, I have to give the tunnel name as well. And yeah, please note this tunnel ID, you will need it in a later step. So next we want to create the roots and in this case it's just cloud layer d tunnel root dns and tunnel name and rb Oh, I just couldn't write it down. Media.dev. And then the next route is for the apps. Okay, and that's it. And now we can just continue with creating the project. And this is done with this copy a copy command. And here you give it the GitHub repository URL. So GitHub and my name is Mitya in, on GitHub. And the project name is Lama Tunnel. And I want to create the template or the project in the current folder. That's is the dot. Now you have to answer quite a few questions. At first, where should the data be stored? I have already created the data folder and I want to use this as well. So I say yes. On which domain do you want to publish the services? On media.dev. What's the API? Subdomain API. App. And yeah, the Cloudflare API token. I have to copy it from my Cloudflare page, paste it in, and Cloudflare tunnel name is Lama tunnel, and the tunnel ID, oh no, it's blocked. You can always use a second shell and then say Cloudflare tunnel list, and you should, of course, Cloudflare D, and then you can copy it from here. So that's it. Olama API key will be generated for you. And the Olama API is listening on localhost and on the default port number. And the name of the service in Docker should be just Cloudflare D, Caddy, and Open Web UI. And I also want to have Open Web UI listen on the local port. And then there's also a secret key for the open web UI, which is used for uh, signing the cookies, for example. Yeah, and I also want to publish the tunnel locally. And then what is the name of the Docker network? I just give it Lama Tunnel. And then now we can start the services with Docker Compose up. And we also need to build the services because the caddy image is custom built. Okay, I think uh, it's done already. And let's see when you open api.media.dev, you should see this error message. And or in your case, of course, your own domain and app.media.dev should be the open web UI. And that's it. I hope you liked it. This is, in my view, a good way to publish local LLMs and web applications on the internet. If you have questions or have challenges to make it work for you, please leave a comment or also leave an issue in the GitHub repository. I'm happy to improve it a bit. I think it's already much easier than initially and I, it took me quite some time to make it work. 
Um, but I think it still could be made a bit easier in the end. So I'm curious to see what you will publish and create and see you in the next video.